So how do you pick the perfect niche for your YouTube automation channel? The process of choosing a niche can be approached in a couple of different ways, making it essential to pick the one that suits your interest and expertise. Now, one of the easiest methods is to focus on something that you're already skilled or passionate about, preferably both. And this approach provides a significant advantage over the competition since you then possess insider knowledge about creating videos within that niche, unlike somebody that's just starting that because they think it's an idea. You understand at that point already what topics, what subtopics already resonate with the people that are gonna be watching your videos, and you can then craft content that caters to those specific interests. This inherent advantage sets you on the path to success, or at the very least, shortcuts that process. Now, alternatively, you can explore YouTube to gather niche ideas if you're unsure in the beginning, right? By researching existing successful channels in the niche that you're considering, you can gain inspiration without directly copying their content. It is crucial, obviously, not to copy, but you can mimic them and model them to get creative content and unique ideas to then take to your channel. As they say, good artists create, great artists steal. But again, don't copy exactly, mimic, and use it as inspiration. Now, additionally, selecting a passionate niche can expedite your channel's growth during its early stages. Such niche Niches generate more engagement in the comment section and affect and attract a larger audience to your videos overall. When choosing a niche, it's important to find a balance. The niche should be narrow enough for YouTube to then identify a specific target audience for your video topic so that they can serve it, ensuring that your content gets delivered to the right viewers. This in turn leads to repeat viewership. Furthermore, your chosen niche should possess a pre-existing interest on YouTube already, meaning that there's already an audience viewing related content and other similar channels. This factor is crucial because YouTube's algorithm then knows ahead of time and it can more effectively serve your videos to that pre-existing audience once it identifies what you're doing. And there's obviously a track record that people watch that content already. You're not guessing. You just need YouTube to pick it up and then find that audience for you. While your niche should be specific enough to cater to that particular viewer avatar, like I said, it also at the same time should be broad enough to allow for creation of numerous subtopics and hundreds of potential videos, right? If your niche is too, too narrow and they obviously know who your audience is, but it's so narrow that you exhaust all your video ideas in the first month or two, then that's obviously too narrow and you need to go a little bit broader, okay? So make sure you're balancing those two. To facilitate the niche selection process, you can browse, like I said, YouTube's various topics categories to identify potential niches and subcategories that might already align with your interests and your knowledge. You can browse YouTube like a viewer to get ideas and then do niche research and make sure that there's not too many channels creating topics on it, but that there are at least some. For instance, let's say you have a passion for golf, right? Well, you could explore subtopics within the golf category. You wouldn't necessarily want to start super broad just at golf. Maybe you're offering golf tips for beginners with a handicap over 20 that just want to get decent at it. Figure out what your target viewer is and then make that content for them. That said, you do need to understand understand that some niches within YouTube may require more creative approaches due to the visual nature of their content, but niches like tech, for example, or product reviews allow for more easier content production because you can just put overlays or talk about a product on camera, right? So imp it's important to understand and consider those as well, right? If you're creating animation videos, it's going to be a lot of money or at the very least a lot of time. If you're creating videos on AI products or software, you're going to at least understand the software ahead of time. So it might take some time to learn that, but then the video will be easy. So these are things that you need to consider going into it. All are not created equal. Ultimately, though, the specific niche that you choose will depend on your personal interests, like I said, your skills, and research into the existing niches with substantial viewer interest. It is crucial to strike that balance that aligns with your passion while also considering the potential for the content expansion and content opportunities, right? You need to like it and be good at it, but there also needs to be an opportunity on YouTube, you can't have one or the other, it has to be both. That's how you'll get successful the fastest. This approach will ensure that you never run out of engaging video ideas for your YouTube channel, but it will also make sure that you enjoy the process, which will make it a lot easier to continue doing it and you won't get bored.